Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Pistol Demon channel. This is uh, this is the last video for a while that I'm going to be talking about Fortnite. So, if you guys want to see me talk more about Roblox, that's coming in the next video. So anyways, here is my solution on how they can fix competitive uh, and also ranked. So, a lot of people have been complaining that pub loots and competitive players do not mix. So, by pub loot, I mean rocket launchers, cars, uh, very unskilled items that just basically destroy boxes. Competitive players don't like this because it, it it's kind of, so if you're in a competitive match, you don't always want to be fighting unless you are below Storm Surge. Now, if you're above Storm Surge, you don't want to fight anyone because you're chilling, you don't need it unless you need Matt Refresh to go and tarp in the next circle. But chances are you don't want to fight. So you just sit in boxes and wait for the weaklings to die or until they do damage and then you're kicked out and then you do damage. So the reason why people don't like their boxes being destroyed is because it it can stop it wastes your mats completely from just like being able to tarp in because if you constantly have to if you waste 250 mats uh, on stopping someone spamming fists in your box then you have only 250 materials to tarp into your next circle. And if you're in end game, that's not a lot of materials. Because remember, you have to go up and down layers depending on the landscape, the terrain. You've got to go down layers depending on your mats. You've got to go down layers depending on your heals, your weapons, your ammo. Or if you're really good, you can go up. If you have good mats, good ammo, good everything, good heals, you can, you can tank storm. So this is why a lot of competitive players do not like uh, these new items and changes to help casual players combat the better players. They don't like it. Now, that's highly understandable. Honestly, my favorite part about uh, competitive is boxing up and looking for tags and seeing if I can punish people and then learning from my mistakes when that, that one person I'm punishing is me because Competitive helps with your rotations, it helps with your aim, it helps with your game sense, it helps you to keep calm. You can't keep calm when someone's constantly spamming fists into your box and constantly having to make you move, flip your camera, try and deal with two people spamming fists, try and shotgun one while placing your ramp, then place, uh, and then re flip your ramp, shotgun the other, flip your ramp, flip your ramp, flip your ramp, place the ramp. You're sound, it sounds very overwhelming, doesn't it? So, I understand why why these players are getting upset. I understand why they're getting angry. But, I'm not hating on Epic Games for adding Nitro Fist, Nitro Splash. It's helpful for the casual players that are sick of just sweaty players boxing up, staying in a box, holding walls, editing, one shot, edit, one shot, edit, dead. It's, it's to casual players, that's not fun. To casual players they want a chaotic experience so this is where the video comes in now i'm going to give my thoughts on competitive and how we can fix it starting right now so first of all a lot of people have said it and we need to split the competitive loopholes now i don't mean oh let's let, let's just make it so pubs only has pub loot and ranked as tournament loot no i'm thinking of a whole new system we have uh, ranked pubs ranked competitive or you can do pubs now ranked competitive is going to be is basically the bit that qualifies you to higher tournaments let's make it so uh ranked pubs can only get you to platinum one but if you want to get higher you've got to finish uh pubs and then you gotta go to competitive because I'm finding a lot of pros start in like gold two ish or platinum sometimes, and within the next day they're diamond. I know it's crazy. I I find it insane. It's that's how good they are though. So here, this is why I'm on about two different ranked modes. You have one that can go up to platinum, and you can't play the second one until you get to platinum, uh, one or two or three. They can choose that. And you can't get to platinum and uh, you can't play the other ones until you get to platinum that makes it so you have to learn these new items so if it's in the ranked cups you can deal with it right 
But if you're not fa a fan of that, you could just camp your way or something to, I don't know, uh, Platinum 1. And then the rest you can play in the actual tournament mode where, you know, you're more confident because you're not going to have everyone spamming fists into your box. I feel like this would be an absolutely impactful change because it would help competitive players from complaining and casual players would also be, you know, happy because their ranked mode makes it so that they can have fun, they can spam fists and they can, you know, they can, you know, they can play ranked, they can get better and eventually they can move on to the actual competitive scene. And I think it's a no-brainer idea. I want to know what you guys think. So put one dot and then your idea and obviously I'll heart the ones that do comment this. And so the next point is with tournaments themselves, I think we need NPCs in there. No, I I don't mean like hireable NPCs. I mean, you know, uh, on th this season particularly, we have um, Oscar and we also have Cerberus. I we need those bosses in the uh, in like the map. I feel like it adds so much because it gets it gets you more items and creates a more diverse loot pool in the meta. Now, this one may m lose me a lot of subs, but this is my opinion. You do not have to agree with that. So, honestly, I think it's perfect uh, with that. And also, if you guys are wondering where I got this idea, I was eating dinner, and then I thought of this. I know, random, but here we are. This is what eating food does for me. So, then, I think another thing we can do afterwards with competitive... I think next season competitive, this is where they can start taking some changes. Weapon mods um, are perfect. Car mods, I want to see a different type of car, like turret thing. Instead of just firing being a nuisance, why don't we reskin the grenade launcher to be like a chug cannon or a bandage bazooka where you can fire heals by, uh, I don't know, aiming your aim button to heal the car and the people inside, but it only has like five shots. Or you can aim it and you can fire at teammates. However, this doesn't heal uh, enemy players, you know, just to be helpful. But the bandit, the, but the chug one can, I think. That'd be great. But also, this le uh, so this means that pubs, uh, but also do obviously have the turret, but not the grenade launcher, because that's just way too powerful. So this makes it so uh, competitive players aren't complaining because there's a grenade launcher firing at them 24-7 in, like, in their, like, you know, their sessions. And also, it means that if you're playing with some buddies and they're driving a car and you have the bandage one, you can you can right click or something, and it, it'll just, it'll just heal your car perfectly. And you can be like, yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh, we're out of the five shots. Let's just recharge by by still spamming uh, right click in case it recharges. We can heal the car again and everyone inside of it. And then I just think it it just opens up more like interesting ways of like you know just playing. Because it creates, it creates a divide between the community with, okay, I like to commit damage, or I like to heal my teammates, you know? So I feel like it's really good. And in squads, it'll kind of incentivize people to pick two cars. One for your damage and one for healing. I feel like it'd be good, but uh, it's up to you. It's up to you uh, what you guys think. If you guys agree with me, let me know. Put two, no, put three dots, sorry. <laughs> and then... Obviously, just let, let me know what you think. Now, new weapons. I think to help the pubs, we need the anvil rocket launcher. We need anything to do with cars. So, EMPs need to come back. Obviously, they're in the loot pool right now. But we need the anvil rocket launcher. We need items that will take less than a second to use to either teleport us away from the cars by only about 100, in a 100 meter radius, like left, right. And we also need something to combat the car's turrets and grenade launchers right now. Shield bubble juniors are helpful, but cars can still ram through them. Now that's a big problem. So I think like a, a device uh, that you can obtain by finding on floor loot or chests that lets you click a button and you can teleport to the left or to the right randomly, 100 meters. I feel like that'd be good, or up to 100 meters, sorry, but like it's either uh, 10, uh, 10 to 100 meters. I feel like that's a good change because then it stops like a car running straight at you. You can go click, boom. Now the car has to drift to try and run at you. And then you can pull out your assault rifle and beam it. And then like it has like 10 second cooldowns. So you have to be precise with it. You can build up. You can just stall the car while it recharges. And then you can just click, spray the car, and then click. I feel like it'd be really good. 
Okay, now we need something to help with, uh, like, so the casual players want something to get rid of the build players if they go into pubs. So, I'm thinking that instead of a cow catcher, we replace it for something even stronger. I don't know what, what I'm thinking of just yet. I'm thinking of this while I'm speaking. But I want something that does more damage uh, to players than builds. So, like the spike bumper. But I want it to do damage uh, through builds, but not too much. So it doesn't destroy the wall. Uh, maybe it does like 50 damage to the wall, but it does like 75 through walls. I feel like that'd be good, uh, because then you've got to reverse and then use it again. So it's kind of like a uh, bash, reverse, bash. I feel like that'd be very good for helping with competitive players. And now for the final thing, we need siphon as you're seeing in this gameplay that i've got in like the background of most of my videos now every time i eliminate someone in Strucid, i gain 50 health back it is so amazing especially when i'm fighting someone and then as i finish a third party comes running in to try and take my uh trying to take me down you know stop my elimination streak so we need siphon back in ranked ranked and tournaments that is where we need siphon i'm sorry epic games cancelled me but it's my opinion and i just think doing that would be so helpful and so amazing actually so that's pretty much all i'm gonna say um if you guys agree with me make sure you leave a like down below subscribe as i need to i need to start getting a pc because my one can't stream anymore and uh, also every five subscribers i get from this video i will pick up my cat and i'll stroke her once so i'll just do one stroke and then put her down and yeah so uh hopefully you guys did like this video but like subscribe and peace out